Hello, I'm Sean Jones and welcome to your week in tech. I'm bringing you the Week in Tech from Spaces, which is an amazing co-working space right here in the heart of Oxford Street. I'm delighted to say that Nina, the opening manager, joins me now. Nina, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Just tell us a little bit about Spaces and why you came to London. Well, at Spaces we offer an inspiring, creative, buzzing and social working environment for all types and sizes of businesses. We offer high-end office space, memberships and meeting rooms where people can work, meet and connect. We are originally from the Netherlands and we have location in Amsterdam, Rotterdam and The Hague. And we just opened in London in the middle of Oxford Street. And we will be opening in the next couple of months in New York, Melbourne and Sydney. And all the Spaces members, they can use all the facilities at all our locations all over the world. The online furniture marketplace Made.com has raised a $60 million round led by Paris Partech Ventures. Marketplace tech firm Miracle has raised a $20 million Series B round as it looks to boost its global presence. McGraw-Hill Education has taken a $6.6 .6 million stake in Busu, the largest social network for language learning. And the auto editing app for extreme sports antics has secured $1.9 million from American investors selecting Beach. European tech stocks have taken a real knock this week as the likes of Microsoft, IBM and Apple announced results that were weaker than expected. Now, most significantly, Apple, despite revealing its strongest Q2 yet in terms of device sales and revenue, saw billions wiped from its value after it failed to hit sales expectations for its most profitable product, the iPhone. Now, the tech giant sold 47.5 million iPhones in the third quarter. That was up 35% in the same period last year. But this was still short of analyst expectations of 48.8 million. Now, due to an increase in amateur drone flyers, drones have begun to infiltrate our skies, causing concern over near misses with aircraft. Now, following a near miss with a drone and a passenger aircraft, the Civil Aviation Authority has issued a warning to drone flyers in the UK that they could actually face prosecution if they don't follow the rules. Drones should only be flown within sight of the operator. Now, the trouble is that many drones are actually fitted with an onboard camera, allowing first-person view. The CAA further warned that drone users must understand that when they're taking to the skies, they're actually entering one of the busiest airspaces in the world. Our download of the week is Bracey. Bracey is an app and wireless solution to problems faced by the hard of hearing, such as the deaf and elderly. The app actually acts as a smart ear by detecting sounds in your environment, such as the doorbell, smoke alarm or cooker timer. It then sends a signal to a smart bracelet which vibrates or flashes a light. It also shows what's happening on your smartphone screen. And it's available to download on iOS and Android. And finally, the Robo Cup final took place in China this week. Now, for those of you that don't know, that's a mini football game for robots. Japan's team of child-sized humanoids won with flying colours, resulting in a 1-0 victory over the team from China's Zhejiang University. There's only one barrier to the action. Sometimes the humanoids have a little trouble standing up. This has been your week in tech. For more, do check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.